Yo, what is up guys? Ayataga here, and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this redstone enchanting room that I made. So, the purpose for this is, like when you're on a server or something, and you want to have a cool enchanting room, you can just have this. So, I'll show you how it works. So when I step on this pressure plate, these bookshelves will open together so that we can do a level 30 enchant. So let me step on the pressure plate. Right. Now since they're open, I can do a level 30 enchant now. So let me just enchant this. Protection 4, not bad. Let me enchant another piece of armor. 5 protection 4, pretty horrible. So, I will come back to you whenever I'm on a super flat world to show you how to build this. Yo, what is up guys? This is going to be the tutorial part of the redstone enchanting room. So let's hop right into it. For this build, you're going to need a block that has normal blocks of it and stairs. Then you're going to need redstone, redstone repeater, a lever, bookshelves, pistons, an enchanting table of course, and stone pressure plate or whatever pressure plate of your preference. So first thing we're going to do is plop down our enchanting table to see where we want it. Usually enchanting tables work like this. There has to be one block of space and then the bookshelves can go there. So I'm going to just plop down my bookshelves one, one block away from it. Alright, so that's how bookshelves should work. Uh, one more here. Yeah. Like this. But since we want to make this redstone, we're going to need pistons. We're going to put these blocks two down with the pistons. So one, two, piston, and that. So you're going to want to have it look like this in the end. So now we're going to put down our pressure plate to try to activate it. Actually we're going to use a level right now and then we can replace it with the enchant the pressure plate whenever we're done so we can turn it on and off but this time we want to see the pressure, the current running through. So we're going to put a lever here and then we're going to try to activate the red zone see it's powered so now we're gonna want to make the redstone go through all of the pistons so you wanna dig around the pistons but it's important not to break them once you're done breaking them you wanna connect everything with that so everything is one up so we're gonna wanna do this you can't have redstone feeding like this into a repeater because, I mean a piston, because it has to be directly fed into it. So for this build, we're going to use our redstone repeaters and put them into it. So now, let me just build one more block, Oops. like this, the piston is now activated. So we're going to want to do this for all of them. This current is about to die, so we're going to put a repeater to renew the current, like that. It's about to die, so we're going to feed another repeater this way. Repeater here. So now that we have this, we're going to try to feed our current with the repeater. So we're going to place a block here. Let me just break this ground for easier building access, but we're going to replace it later. So no, I'm right. Alright, 
Now we're gonna go back down, and we're gonna put repeaters facing into the piston so it'll power it. So I'm gonna do that again with this one. The two little redstone torches in the repeater need to be facing the repeater. And then we're gonna do it here. Well, not there because it's already powered in here, so we don't wanna turn it off by repowering it. So now we're going to be putting these redstone repeaters into them. So let me break this one. Boom, 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 boom. Angles right. This is probably one of the harder parts of this. See, now all of this is activated on top. I mean, from the bottom, pushing it to the top. And then when we turn off the lever, they all retract. Turn it on, go up, retract. So now what you're going to want to do is continue your redstone current up through here. And then we want our thing, I, we want our bookshelves to ideally be stacked up on each other so whenever we have the piston extended it pushes out one block so we're gonna build a little railway railing to help us place down these pistons so we go like that like this so whenever we power this piston oops power this piston it'll be stacked on it but actually hmm. yeah so we're gonna want to make this go one higher actually because that's pushing up as well so we're gonna have it like this then So when we turn it on, and then when we turn this on, yeah, now they're stacking too. So you're gonna wanna have this be one, one, two, three, four, five, five blocks high. So let me just keep building my railing all around. So now, if like, for example, we want to power this one, we power that, and they go up, so it works. Alright guys. So, what we're going to want to do is the same thing that we did in the bottom. We want to have redstone current going into repeaters facing into this. So if we, for example, build out like this and power it with the lever, it'll push down the piston. So we're gonna build blocks all around through this. But you're gonna wanna use the block that you um, are gonna be building with. So I'm gonna be building with quartz, so I'm gonna have it like this. So we're going to want to take our redstone current, we're probably going to want to repower it, give it more power here. So let's turn on the current to see it working, alright. We're going to want to connect this redstone from here all the way up here. So we're going to start building a little railing. Boom, boom. Break this block, one, two, three. Break these two, one, two, three. Four, break these three and continue to snake out like this by with like a little L.
now we're gonna wanna take our redstone and climb it through here. Right. We're gonna wanna go like this and then put one here, like this, and put one here, like this. Now that it's connected, we can repower this right here. Go like this. Repower it right here as well. And now we just connect our redstone. But since we ran out of power here, we're going to want to repower it like this. Feed it. Keep feeding it. And now for this one, we just do the same thing. Alright, so now whenever we unpower it, they both retract like this. And when we power it, we both they both reach they both go up like that. So that's basically the basic design for the redstone enchanting room. If you want to keep watching, I'll show you how to uh, decorate this the way that I did. Alright guys, I am back and now I'm going to show you how to decorate this redstone enchanting room the way that I did. So it's going to be like that. So whenever I walk into a redstone enchanting room, I don't want to see these pistons being activated. So I'm going to hide them by using quartz stairs. You can use any stairs that you want to, but you probably want to match the same material as the material you built your railing for the redstone out of. So we're going to go down here and put the we're going to have we're going to place a block like this. So we can do that. Now we can destroy this block and just keep building the stairs on the side like this. Like this. So that we don't have to look at the pistons being activated. Just go like that. Nope. That. Yep. And then go on the side of the block and like that. So I'm gonna show you a little lighting glitch that is in Minecraft. So, we can break this for now. So whenever there is a light source and then a slab on top of it, the slab still allows light through. So I think that lanterns go really well with quartz looking structures. So I'm gonna get some sea lanterns. And then I'm gonna place them around here without disturbing any of the redstone. like that. Now I'm going to put quartz slabs. So let me get some quartz. Oops. And put them on top. So now whenever I'm in the room, it and if it's dark, I can still see light in the enchanting room, but I won't be affected by it. So I'm going to put a full block here because it has to power. So I'm going to put this back on, it's power. Oh wait, these slabs should actually be one higher. So you're going to want to go like that, so they are on the same level. So now destroy this, go like that, destroy this, go like that, destroy this, go like that. So this go like that, destroy this, go like that. So now they're on the same level as the lever. Right. So I'm going to enclose this area off in a square with the block that I'm using. So I'm going to break all of this. Wait, we can have this back. And it should be a little nice. Like this, yeah. So I'm gonna build it like this. And enclose the area with the block I'm using. And like, guys, this design is very flexible, so as long as you don't mess up the redstone, you can build it any way you want. But this is just an example of how I build it. Alright, right here. 
So you don't want to put the block here because then it'll cut off the power. You see it won't connect but when I break this, it'll go up the block and connect. So we're just going to keep connecting without disturbing the redstone. Alright, this, this is where it's going to get complicated. So we're going to want to put a slab right here so it won't like, it'll look the same when you're looking at it this way but there's no way to hide this part of it this has to be there it has to go from the bottom to connect to up here so I turn this on it still works nice All right now I'm gonna close off this part too and I'm gonna use quartz pillars now I think it just looks really good whenever you want to build up high. So I'm going to connect this to the top of it. Same thing on this side, connect it to the top of this roof. So now I'm going to get my quartz stairs like this and just go around like this, kind of giving it like a coliseum feeling. And like this. This, 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 and this. Let me toggle the downfall and set the time. Alright. So now we're gonna get our quartz. Actually, I wanna use chiseled quartz here. So chiseled quartz. And make your doorway. So you wanna connect this up. Uh, the doorway has to be at least too high for the person to enter through here. So I'm going to decorate it by putting stairs like this. Maybe replacing the middle one with a normal quartz block and the bottom ones. Then I'm going to get some slabs and put them like this. And then maybe have a stair up here to like this and then this one facing normally that looks pretty good close this off back here one more block on this side as well okay. now you're gonna want to close off this side so So this kind of looks cool, but we can make it better. So I'm going to take some slabs, place them like this. Hmm. But now we don't have enough food, so I'm just going to get that. Alright, we can walk in here. Nice and comfortable. So I'm going to get some water buckets. Oops, I needed that lantern. <laughs> I'm going to get a water bucket. Break these two blocks. Break these two blocks. Get another slab. Put it there. There. And, oops. Pour water in here. I think it just looks pretty cool. So yeah. We might we might want to decorate this a little bit more. this oops yeah it looks pretty nice so now we're gonna wanna make the roof for our little room so I'm gonna put a slab right over here so then when you walk in here you can't see anything but then I'm going to put some sea lanterns on top of where I put the slabs so the lighting glitch will happen like this. It'll still allow for the lighting glitch. So 
so I can still see. But then I'm gonna have to close this off. Yeah. Maybe I could put a stair here. Some stairs here, go down, put a slab here, here, underneath the stair, like that. So, we're gonna want to just keep closing off this area. The chisel court there, maybe. Chisel court there. Oh, actually, we need to make this one go one more back and keep closing off the area as best as we can. Maybe continue the slide like this. Have little stairs leading up to them. It's like a little walkway. And then I'm gonna put two engines underneath it and have the slabs here so I can create the lighting glitch again. So this lighting glitch is really cool. Go like this, like this, like this. Put slabs on top of it so I can still walk. Alright guys. So this is basically what I did for mine. Maybe like decorate a little more. But you can play with this design yourself. But the important part is that this is working. So let me just replace this. Get a pressure plate. And now, if I set it to nighttime, we can see the light. Alright, see, it's pretty dark outside, but we can still get the light from underneath the slabs and this water looks pretty cool so we walk here we walk here and then we just do that all right guys that is